Hi, this is Alina. Today I am actually live to talk about my Tantra sessions. And one of the particular sessions that I'm here to talk about is my Fantasy Kinkasaj session, which is basically a little bit of a twist on a Tantric session that actually delves into fantasy. Back in 2010, I actually was working on a client and they weren't relaxing very well. I couldn't seem to get them out of their head. And so I started telling them an erotic story. And about a minute later, I said to the guy, how are you feeling? And he said, awesome, this is great. And I got him breathing with my, my male multiples mastery techniques that I use. And I started telling him a story. It was very tongue in cheek, very naughty story. And he started to really relax. And you know, I actually called my website Tantra Fantasy and that's what I called that actual session. Obviously now I call it Fantasy Kingasage. And what I discovered about that was that it was another way of taking someone into an altered state of consciousness, another way of lowering brain waves. And that was through visualization, through fantasy. So visualizing in their head. And it turned out to be a very well, a very sought after session. And I had lots of stories that I used to tell because I got lots of repeat customers. I had to come up with some really good storyline. So anyway, my fantasy kinkasage sessions is about taking men because they're very good at getting into fantasies in their head, into altered states of consciousness through lowering the brain waves. And I remember at the time that I was doing sexological body work and I remember doing one of my sessions during sexological body work and I remember a couple of people really laughing at me like it was a real hoot that I was telling erotic stories but you know they didn't get it they just didn't get it it's just another way of putting someone into a very low state of consciousness so that their sexual energy runs through their body and their brain waves lower and in their head they're visualizing everything that I'm describing every single little tidbit of my description in the story that I'm actually telling them as well as coaching them to take their energy upwards and all the tantric um, and male multiples mastery techniques that I actually do so the fantasy kinkasage session is is just another way to get a human being into an altered state of consciousness because if they're so busy visualizing a smutty story they're not going to be thinking about their day at all because they're just so much in their head in that visual side of their head and really visualizing what I'm what I'm telling them so fantasy kinkasage is a very popular session of mine giving fantasy stories is another way of turning the male brain off and, and taking them into another realm of consciousness and with their brain switched off, also giving them a, a really exciting experience, a very ecstatic experience of orgasm when you're adding fantasy. But there's also other ways of um, getting someone into subspace. So subspace is a place where you're completely in the moment, you've lost track of time, you're very much in your body. You're just, you're just being and enjoying, receiving, relaxing, stimulating, sensational touch. Another way of um, getting someone into that really relaxed place is through BDSM and domination. And you know, there's a lot of people out there that would say, oh, I'm not really into domination, I'm not into being tied up. But depending on what your kink is, what turns you on, being tied up and dominated is a really fantastic way of, of actually turning someone's brain waves down. I get a lot of businessmen that come and see me that have lots of employees and they own their, um, they own their business or they're working in a very high profile business as a CEO and they can't get out of their heads. So when you actually dominate someone and tie them up, and even if you just do really wonderful things to their bodies, just touching them with feathers and um, like prickly pinwheels or um, a little vibrator all over the body, that is still domination. Domination doesn't have to be about flogging someone's backside till it's red raw. 
So domination is another way of taking someone into that very quiet brainwave and getting them out of their heads so that when you combine pleasure and orgasm with BDSM, that you can take people to the most amazing places. My main focus is, is about exploring ways of taking human beings into altered states of consciousness, exploring orgasm, taking them to ecstatic places of orgasmic frequency where they can have complete this amazing awareness of how much they're actually missing out on, where they can actually explode their orgasm, where they can, how they can raise their frequency in their body. Um, and, and that's what I'm all about. Discovering different ways of getting that person out of their head and being able to experience more. So I'm going to post up um, a little bit about my, my fantasy kinkassage sessions. And it's really lovely to, to be online and chat to everyone. I'll leave some um, tags at the end of this post. Thank you so much for listening this far. Mwah! Bye for now.